<clears throat> Hi, Nancy. Hi from Oklahoma. Glad you're here. Are you, you're watching from YouTube. Um, I'm on a minute early. Was I live earlier? I just got, I see you made a comment at 6.55 or were you just waiting? You made that comment while you were waiting to get in? So you guys are going to have another bad air quality. That's what I heard tonight on the news, Stacy. Yep, they're telling us to stay inside. It's and wear masks again. Um, but hopefully, they they said it's not supposed to be as bad as last time. Tomorrow I'm going to work, so it was pretty bad in the city last time. It'll be fine, and it'll pass. I am just trying to find myself on, let's see. Hi, Elizabeth. Thank you for the big capital letter shared. I appreciate that. You know, it helps me to find um, everyone so quickly. Okay, here we go. Now we can share. Uh, bear with me for one second while I share over to a couple of other areas. Okay, there we go. Yeah. So Stacy, yes, I was just watching the news right before I came down here. Um, you know, half hour ago, I, I was watching and saw that we we're getting some bit poor air quality going on a girl's trip tomorrow. Eight of us going to Europe. So excited. Who is that? Facebook user. Let me see if I see it here. I don't see it here yet. Um, it says Facebook user. I think there's a link in the description to give StreamYard permission. Um, oh, it's Patty. Oh, fun. I don't know why you're coming up as Facebook user when I know that it's you. I mean, when, when you already are on, um, I don't know why it's not coming up here. Let me see if it's coming up in a different location. This drives me nuts every week, the same issue. I'm not saying it's you guys, it's me on my end and how I can fix that. Oh, there it is. I see you now, Patty. Oh, that's exciting. How long are you going to be away? I'm, I get, I'm guessing at least seven to 10 days if you're going to Europe or just the holiday weekend. Um, okay, you're good, Patty. I see you on this computer, so you're good. That's exciting. Have a great time. I hope you have beautiful weather. Is it summer in Europe? right now? I don't know. Hi, Nicole from Netherlands. So nice to see you here. What time is it in the Netherlands? Um, until 710, July 10th. Okay. So you're, you're going to be gone for a little while. Hi, Vicki. Nice to see you. Okay. Let's get started. My name is Antoinette Bay. I am with the Paper Papillion. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in, oh, sorry. Um, not sure why that came up in Limbrook, New York. And I'm here tonight to bring you a project. I'm going to be using the delightfully eclectic um, designer series paper. Oh, it's midnight. You're a night owl, just like me. I'm a night owl, except for when I go to work. Look, tonight's going to be an early night because I have to get up early, earlier, an hour and a half earlier than usual on a work day. I like sleeping in. Um, one o'clock 
one o'clock in the, I keep getting these notifications in the night. Oh, it's one in the morning. It's midnight here or one in the morning. Well, thank you for joining in the Netherlands. I appreciate it. Um, let's get started. We are going to be using the Delightfully Eclectic and a little secret about Delightfully Eclectic. I used it a couple of, whoops, there goes my water bottle. I've used it a couple of times already, but I am using this in my June, not, uh, not June, July kit to go uh, with Heather, my cross country paper craft creations. It's my collaborative program that I do with my friend Heather Guerrero, um, Little Blue House designs. And she, we are, we, she designed her two cards. I designed my two cards for July. We're a little bit ahead this time. And next week when I come to you live, um, I know next week's 4th of July, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to come to you live in the evening. Not 100%. I'll know closer to Tuesday the 4th if I'm coming live or not. A lot of you may not be able to come because it's the 4th of July and you have plans here in the U.S. Um, I have to decide when I get closer. It depends on how what I'm doing on that day. Um, so if I can't come live next Tuesday, I will come live probably um, not the fifth or the sixth, cause I'll be in the city. So probably on Monday, the third. So I'll try for the third or the fourth. And if I do have to on the fifth, then I will just be very prepared and just come down here right after work when I'm, when I get home from work anyway, um, I'll decide later, later on over the weekend. So we're using this delightfully eclectic. And like I said, it's our paper, designer series paper that we're using for our July um, card kit to go. So if anybody is interested um, in that card kit to go, we don't have it set up as a subscription yet, but I'm hoping to do that um, soon. But I, I, we haven't done that yet. So I'll, I'll get more information on that at another time. So we're using bubble bath ink, we're using berry burst ink, we're using some blending brush, we're using berry burst marker, and that is the 2023 uh, new color collection that Stampin' Up! has added to our color collection. I'm using, this is a trio pack, so it's Azure Blue Afternoon, it's Lemon Lolly, and it's Bubble Bath, and it's called sheer ribbon combo pack so tonight we're using the sheer pink bubble bath i'm using a greeting from go to greetings we're using the exposed brick 3d embossing folder um thank you for the big cap capital letter shared nora nice to see you iridescent pearls um i love these pearls this is basic white cardstock, which is going to be our base. And the other things that we're using are, let's see, from Sentimental Park. The dies that I'm using are from this Sentimental Park set. I'm using deckled rectangle dies, and I'm using the tailor made tag. Uh, for a very, very simple card, I'm using a lot of product. And we're going to get started. And I am going to cut this paper in front of you because we may have some new joiners that have not been here before. I'm going to put that away. So I do want to cut the paper. And we're going to cut it so that it opens like a book, which means I'm cutting it on at the five and a half inch. So this is eight and a half by 11. I'm going to turn it over to the 11 inch side and cut at five and a half. So here's five and a quarter, five and a half. Now I'm going to keep my scoring tool up on top and I mean my cutting tool and I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to score at four and a quarter because four and a quarter is half of eight and a half and that's the size of our paper. So just in case you have not seen how we cut vertically or horizontally. This was a horizontal cut. Okay. 
and make sure I'm not muted. Okay, so that's our base. And now I'm just going to fold that in half and use my phone folder and then we'll set it aside. I did not do a great cut on there. Okay, this is better. That's the front. All right, now I'm going to take out our other pieces. So I've already pre-cut and I have this piece for the envelope, but I didn't bring over an envelope. So we're going to do some embossing. I didn't, I pre-cut some things, but not everything. So let's see, we have the deckled die. We have this la these layers here. I'm a little high up here. And this is the deckled um, layer. So we're going to, the only thing we need to do really, I die cut everything else, I'm gonna put that aside, is bring over the stamp and cut emboss machine. And we're going to emboss with the exposed brick. And that's the only thing we're going to do with the die cut machine, I'm pretty sure. So there's the exposed brick and here's my layer that is the front layer. And now I'm going to take my gray plate and we will let it roll. Hi, Margo. Nice to see you from Michigan. Facebook user, you are very close. I bet you that's Patty. Yep. Okay. I'm going to see if I can bring it up a little bit. So just give me a second. This is going to shake for a second. Okay. Let me see if I can bring that up. Whoop. Hold on. Yeah, that's better, right? Much better. Okay. I gotta get a diff. This is the Akron mount, and I need a, a mount that's a little bit more flexible. I'm gonna order one. Okay, let's move this over. Or actually, if I dig through my drawers, I'm sure I'm going to find one that I had from the past. So maybe I'll do that first. Dig through some supplies and find a more flexible mount. Okay. There we go. So here's our embossed brick. Okay. Yeah, that's better, right? Okay. So if you want measurements for and photos for this project, you can join my newsletter. It's in the link. Uh, there's a link for it in the um, description. Okay. So now let's sit here. This is the pattern that I chose. So the back is bubble bath stripe and in the front is this pretty floral design. And in it, there is berry burst, garden green, old olive. Those are the colors in it. Berry burst, old olive, garden green. Um, there's fresh freesia and there's bubble bath. And of course the background is white. Those are the colors in here. I'm pretty sure that's berry burst. It kind of looks a little bit um, like cherry cobbler, but I don't know. I don't think that it is. <clears throat> okay, where's our base? Where's the base of the card? Here it is. So let's put this on the front. This whole piece is going to cover the front of the card. Okay. And I'm going to use liquid glue so that way I can move this around if I don't get it on the base perfectly where I want it. Liquid glue gives you the opportunity to move it around. Okay. Okay. So now I'm gonna move it around. So nothing's peeking out. Okay, that's good. Okay. 
and we have this piece. So I'm going to put a ton, before I do anything else, I'm going to take a blending brush and the bubble bath and also a scrap of paper. So what I'm going to do is just tap, tap, and then tap off a bit and then start down here and work my way up just right in the center. It's the only place that I want it is in the center. Okay, that's good. So can you see that? Okay. And then I'm going to take the marker and give it a little bit of splatter. Oh, wrong side. So I'm just taking the brush tip and flicking it against the cap. And there we go. Move that over. So now we have the um, tag, and I already mounted um, from the stamp set. I decided to use um, the Thinking of You. Uh, I wonder if this card I want to change it. I think I do. I think I want to change it to Happy Birthday on this one. So one will say, my sample will say thinking of you and this one's going to say happy birthday. So let's change that. And this stamp set, I'm not a huge fan of these big ones. They work for those big tags. I, I used them with uh, the assisted living and they loved it, but I'm not a huge fan of these, these uh, swirly curly um, fonts. But I like these little ones, and I like these, too. <clears throat> I think they're just too big for me. That's why. So I like the others, though, that are in that set. So, oh, let's make sure Happy Birthday is going to fit on here. Yeah, it'll fit. It should. And if it doesn't, we'll do it again. <clears throat> there we go. I'm going to bend over for this. Yeah, perfect. Isn't that pretty font? I think it's a really pretty font. Okay, let's put that away. <clears throat> okay, so then with this, I took this really pretty ribbon. It's very soft, it's silky, it's really very pretty. Another nice ribbon. I told you about that pool party that I really like. I really like these too. Today was the first time I actually pulled it out. Um, I forgot that I had this ribbon, so it worked out perfectly. So now I already had cut it, and then I cut in half. You know how I like to do that to make it a little bit thinner. So I'm just going to fold it, and then I'm going to slip this, um, the folded side, through the back, through the front of the tag. Doesn't matter, front or back. Whoops. And then... I'm going to slip these two ends through the loop. See that? So I'm just going to go through the loop here and pull that. And we're going to work with that again shortly. For now, we'll put that on the side. Our sentiment is ready. And now we're going to layer. So let's do some layering here with dimensionals. Let's see, Jeanette. Hi, Jeanette. Oh, no worries. And hi, Carol. Hi, Lynn from Southern New Jersey. Uh, unable to log into Facebook. I'm sorry, Carmen, but you're here. You're on YouTube. That's good. I could see you on YouTube. I wonder why you're not able to log into Facebook. That's kind of weird. Um, so you know how I like to make sure that this the card base is always sturdy because it's getting mailed to, usually to somebody. I will tell you something about the card tonight. 
uh, stay tuned to the end when we do prize drawings for all the comments from the last last week's comments and shares from last week. And I went through them with a fine tooth comb, but I am looking for those big capital letters. That is what makes it easy for me to find all the shares. Um, so there we go. All dimensionals are behind there. Now I'm going to put same bunch of dimensionals behind this one. It's going to go right on top. Let's see, just sign into Facebook on phone. Somebody's telling you, oh, you're telling your, I don't know, Carmen, you signed into Facebook on your phone. Okay. And one more. And let's do another one up here. Well, I know that you're here. So does everybody have big 4th of July plans here in the United States? I don't know what I'm doing yet exactly. I don't quite know. I'm going to go to the beach. I've resigned myself to that. That I know as long as the weather's good. I need to get to the beach and get some, get a little sun. Even if it's just for a couple of hours because I can't take it anymore. Wish I was going to Europe with Patty. Okay, so there's our second layer. Okay, now I, from the sentimental park dies, from... These dies, I've already die cut the leaves. Let's get this going over here. I die cut the leaves and I've already die cut a bunch of flowers. So we have a bunch of the flowers from Bubble, bubble Bath, Berry Burst and base, uh, uh, Basic White. Okay, this is the stamp set that goes with it, but we're not using the stamp set. We're just using the dies. These are the first dies that I used in January for our um, my first collaboration with Heather, we used this set, which was a really good one. It's a good kit. I am in the midst of, I got um, my supplies yesterday from Stampin' Up! that I ordered for the June kit to go. So my dining room table is quite full with most of the cutting. I have an industrial cutter. One of these days I'll show it to you. It's called HFS and it's really good. I can just cut a whole pack of cardstock without taking it out of the package right down the middle, whether I do it, but down the middle on the eight and a half inch side or the 11 inch side, it's wonderful. It saves a lot of time. And I wasn't able to use it for a while because it was stuck in a corner and I couldn't get it out and it was really heavy. And then when we had our kitchen renovated, it, it didn't come out and I took it out and cleaned it up and got to use it for this June kit. So I'll be sharing photos of, of the cutting the, and then I'll be sorting and and um, packing up, let's see. So I'm gonna take out some of these. So we're going to use Fresh Freesia on top of there and on top of here. And then I'm going to take a small one right there. I know it's probably hard to see because now I'm a little bit higher. And then I'm going to take some Berry Burst. Let's see. And get some of these out. Um, let's see. Let's do, we're going to do this one in Berry Burst. And then we're going to do another little one in Berry Burst. And a larger one in Berry Burst. Let's see, let's do this one. And I'm just gonna put these all on the side up here. That's about all I need right now, but I'll be able to get them easier. And then all of these I'm gonna put up here as well, and I'll grab them as I need them. Okay, 
So for the front, I'm going to cut this stem in the middle. Let's see, what was the brand for your cutter? It's called HFS. Hard. I got it from www.hardwarefactorystore.com. HFS. I'll show you a picture of it. I'll post a picture. Um, I have to cut another pack of paper. So when I do, I'll take a picture. Probably won't be tonight. It will be probably Thursday before I'm, I can get back down here. And then I'll post it. Yeah, I've had it for a number of years. I asked for it for a Christmas gift one year. And um, it's even before I started doing a lot of kits. Um, I think I got it in anticipation or with hopes that I was going to start doing kits and that they would start to get a little successful. And so it's been a, a good thing to have. Okay, so you can see how I just did that. I just cut them apart so this would be a little bit higher. Okay. Thank you, Margo, for sharing. I appreciate that. And this one's going to go on the inside. So we're going to cut this one again. Um, this one, yeah. And it's going to be used for the inside. So let's put that aside for a second before we even start doing our flowers. Show you what we're going to do with the inside. I'll move all this. <clears throat> So we're going to do that little blending again. And tap, tap. You don't want to have it be too dark. You'd rather start off um, light and add color. So here we just want it to be very soft, very soft. And then down here as well, very soft. Just adding a little background color. Okay. Ooh, I hope my husband puts the air conditioner in down here tomorrow. He said he was going to, so, um, and he's been so busy. So he hasn't had a lot of time to do that. So before I do that, we're going to flick a little marker here again. Just a little. And a little bit here. Okay, and then we'll add another leaf and just dabbing a little bit of liquid glue. And this could hang off because I don't want the whole leaf on there. So we'll let that hang off a little bit. And then we'll do the smaller one on top. Now that's a paper cutter. Yep, it is a paper cutter. A paper cutter that can cut through a whole pack of paper without taking it out of the package. And not just paper, cardstock. Our cardstock. So it's pretty thick. So maybe I'll take a picture of it in use when I use it on Thursday evening. I'm, Thursday, I'm working from home. I have a lot going on in the house here. I had to take the day. I didn't want to take the day off, but I, I did have to um, be home. We have um, the windows after, you know, I just had the carpets clean on my second floor. And now we're having the windows cleaned inside and out on the first floor and the second floor. So I just need to be home because I have to have people in my house. Um, and right now is my husband's busiest time, so that's my job. Anyway, okay, so let's take a few more flowers. These white ones, I'm gonna take a large one and a smaller one and get these flowers put together while this sits on the side for a second. Okay, let's bring everything over. And 
I'm going to add a little bit of liquid glue behind here. Last night I had the assisted living and um, they made cute cards here. Yeah, this is the bigger one. Um, I think I mentioned last week that I've been cleaning up some of my boxes of things that I've had and I've come up with some cards that were kind of partially made. So I kind of finished them off and I have to do a lot of the prep work for the assisted living. So they were perfect because a lot of the prep work was already done on these. So they worked out. Last week I did that and this week I did it as well. Okay, now we're gonna take this one and take all these little things on the inside out. It saves me a lot of time, which is good. So, you know, time is hard to get. Not just for me, but for everybody. And as we get older, right? It just time, time, time. We need more of it. Okay, so that's gonna be for the front of the card, these pieces right here. And for the inside of the card, I'm gonna take a peek at what I did. Okay, the inside of the card, I did something a little different. Anybody have any comments? No, nope. am I losing anybody? Cause I'm taking a while. Um, hmm, someone has a sad face, why? Why does somebody have a sad face? Um, am I gonna do a bubble bath in a large one and a small one and then we're going to take a large one and a small of the that die cut flower move these white ones aside and we'll do the same thing just add some adhesive here i mean some liquid glue and this doesn't have to be perfect and again here Okay, let's see. So anyway, I tried to get a different day, a day that I'm already home from work, um, but they could not come on a different day, the carpet uh, window cleaners. So my husband was gonna do it himself, but he, I, I finally convinced him he wants to do everything himself but he has absolutely no time in the summertime it's very difficult so I convinced him not to stress himself out over it and we got somebody to do it okay so this is going to go down here what was the brand of your cut oh somebody uh, somebody already asked and answered and the smaller one's gonna go on top. So do you see how that little bit of shadow color in the background does a little something? It might be difficult for you to you can see better there. Um, and now I'm going to take the scissor and cut that stem and cut that stem too. Okay. Now I did something with this thing earlier. I'll show you in a second, but I'll, let's see if we're gonna do it this time. Okay. Let's go back to the front and we'll work on these. We're almost done. And then this one's going to go down here. And then, oh, I'm, I wanted to, let me take them off. I want to put dimensionals behind there. I don't want them to sit. I want them to be raised. So there's a dimensional. It looks so much better if it's raised. Okay, let me get some more dimensionals here. That's my pack. 
I need a mini for this one. And go back to the big ones here. For this one. It's going to go back here. Whoops. Actually, it's going to go up a little bit. And then this one's going to go down here. No dimensional here. Down for this one. This one has a little dimensional behind it, the mini dimensionals. And that's going to go around here, maybe a little bit closer. And then we'll put that one on shortly. And then I'm going to add some that's going to go there. Now I'm going to add dimensionals. I know I don't need this many dimensionals on a little tag, but I'm doing it anyway. And this little strip down here. As you can see, I really don't like anything to shift or move and that's hence the reason that I use so many dimensionals. Okay. This one's a little bit higher than I would have liked the flower, but I'm, it's too late now. So that's going to go here like this. Then I'm going to take some twine, some white twine. Oh wait, let's get this one going too, right here. This little one, little liquid glue. Put the little one right there. And then we'll take some more and we'll put some of those little ones on the inside too. So I'm just going to tie white twine. Actually, I wish if, if I had some silver that was not so thick, the one that I have is very thick, so it wouldn't work because there is a little bit of silver in here. Now let's cut that down. Some Mar Margo says, love the card. Thank you. Right? It's very soft and sweet. Very soft and sweet. And then that will go there. I don't think we need this much twine. We're going to put some gems on now. Okay. Let's get the gems. And we'll stick a large. These are the iridescent pearls. So I have a few left on this sheet. I have another pack and then a larger one up here. And then smaller ones. They just add to, they just add to the softness. I'm just going to use like a tinsel gem we have. Um, but I like the softness of this card and I wanted to keep it with the gems to keep the softness of it. Now for the inside, I don't want to put gems here. So I think what I'll do, let's see if maybe we put a little flower in there. Yeah, I think that would look cute to put a little tiny flower in there. Maybe we even go crazy. Let's see how this looks. Can even put that one too. Oh, I lost you guys. Hold on, I just lost my. Oops, wrong password. Hold on, I know you guys are still there. I just lost my screen. Okay, there you are, and the volume's on. Uh, did I do that? And. Maybe a small one. Let's do something different. I like that. Kind of like it. 
Let's get that little one out of there. And then that there. Uh, I don't want it to be too crazy. Okay, I'll show you what I did with the other one. I'll leave it alone for now. What is everybody? Beautiful card, loving bubble bath. Me too. I needed a good pink. In the worst way, did I need a pink, right? A good pink. Even, I mean, we've had some decent good pinks. Like, I, I can't remember the names of them, but um, bright pinks, though. I wanted a soft pastel pink. There you go. I'll leave it at that. And the envelope is somewhere. Let me go get an envelope. Okay. Let's get the envelope. I was gonna go fancy with the envelope so that it would be a hand delivered. And I'm not gonna say that I might not, uh, that I probably will go fancy on the envelope with some um, of the stems and flowers and have it be hand delivered. But for now, for now, we are just gonna do the usual and just make the flap pretty. Now, this card is not going to be given away next week because it is going to, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do the same type of drawing that I did for the June. That was kind of fun, but it's going to be part of something for the June kit. It's not going to be a card for the June kit. Oops, I was a little off here because now that you've seen me make it, you can make it yourself if you sign up for the June, uh, not June, did I say June? I meant July, for the July kit. This is a preview of what's to come. So now you already have an alternative with your kit. I'll give you more details on the July kit, but this is definitely, I use this paper on one of my cards, just so you know. Um, but it's a totally different card. So what will happen is these two cards, this one will have a, this was the original, thinking of you. So I don't know if you can notice, see, I notice every little thing, but this is a little bit higher. I would have liked it to be a little bit lower. Um, what's that? Hold on. I have like a dimensional backing behind here. That's annoying. Okay. And I have a little piece of glue on here. What is going on with this card? Okay. Oh, I know what happened. So this is the glue for the pearl that was supposed to be down here and fell off. And I did take a picture of this today. And I noticed in my picture that it's missing a pearl. So tomorrow when you see the tutorial, you will see that it's missing a pearl down there. And it was supposed to have a pearl because this is the one I used for the photo. So here's the inside. So on the inside of this one, I put these little white dots and I don't really like them. I was trying to stay in line with the pearls in the front, but they just don't do the job. I like it better just plain. I might pull those off. We'll see um, on the inside. So one is thinking of you and one is happy birthday. So these are going to be saved for the July, when the July kit closes, this one along with um, some others. Uh, I'm not gonna show you the other one I already created with this paper because I'm not sure that it's gonna be part of the July kit or not. Um, I mean, not the kit, I already made the cards. It, it's gonna be part of like the drawing type thing. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's my card for tonight. And I hope you liked it. I really like the that it's very soft. I like that it's soft. Um, with the white makes it nice and soft. I was thinking about using a different background, but the white keeps it nice and soft. So let's go over some stuff here. 
Um, we are going to do a prize drawing, but not with these cards, as I mentioned. Um, so we still have, if anybody wants to ask their family to, if you want to go shopping in my online Stampin' Up! store, I do have gift certificates. If you have a birthday or um, a special occasion coming up where you'd like to uh, go shopping, you can have a family member reach out to me at my email address and um, talk to me, talk to me there. There's my email address. And we still have designer series paper on sale, 15% off select designer series paper. This is through the 30th, which is Friday. So this sale ends on Friday. So if there's anything you'd like, uh, this paper is on sale, the eclectic, Delightfully Eclectic right here, the pack that I've been using. Um, so you might want to head over there. I just got another new team member. So that's three, one in May and two in June. And um, so the starter kit, they took advantage of purchasing the starter kit. And this is about to go out to my new team member. They get a little Papillion Stampers pen and they get a little pack of Papillion Stampers post-it notes. And then this does not have her name on it yet, but it will. And a little bit about Stampin' Up! and a welcome card. So that will go out this week when I send out later this week, uh, probably Friday. And so I wanted to share with you guys. So the starter kit is a great purchase right now. You spend $99, but you get to pick out $155 US dollars in um, merchandise and you get free shipping. So it's a perfect time to purchase the starter kit. So if you're someone who shops with me, a, a few of you have spent over, well over $99. So if you want to take advantage of this opportunity that's going on, it ends, uh, let's see, July 1st is the first of the month. So it ends on uh, June 30th. In the you know 11:55 p.m. on June 30th, that starter kit will be gone. That offer then it goes back to you get $125 for $99 worth of merchandise for $99 and free shipping instead of $155. So what's that? Um, $30 more you get right now. So um, then we have our sweet stamp and friends tutorial. So if you make a minimum purchase with me of $35 or more in my online store, you get a 10 uh, project tutorial and this you would get the June tutorial this is my card using this delightfully eclectic paper um, this is my card for this month get a sneak peek and um, you get a tutorial with 10 projects including mine for free and then also I still have my um, through June 30th my let's get my cards out my cards Let's put these away. So if you spend a minimum $35 in my online store, that's the kit for this card. This one right here. Um, this is the kit for this card right here. And then this is the kit for this card right here. You don't need anything but a sentiment. Everything else is die cut for you. So the only thing you need is like right here is a sentiment. Whatever you have at home, is what you would be using um, on these cards, okay? And this one comes with an envelope. Um, this is not, this card stock and this envelope is not Stampin' Up. It's something that I had. Um, so I'm using that in this kit. So this is the three, this is the kit, what it looks like. So not only do you get the tutorial with your $35 minimum purchase, um, but you get a three card kit with your minimum $35 purchase mailed to you for free. Okay. Just FYI, that's going on till June 30th. You do have to use the host code in the description here, or you can go to my blog. I don't have it here right now, but you can either go to the description. There's a link or you can go to my, my blog and find that. And then I wanted to share with you also that I got a really nice surprise this week um, in the mail. I got this bundle as a gift from my upline. Um, I love it. I have an idea of what I want to use these curved, um, these curved um, 
sentiments for. Um, I probably wouldn't use the, I wouldn't know, I'd have to see a lot of samples to, to know what to do with this to make it really fun. Actually, it looks like whatever. When you turned it around, you can make a bathing suit out of it. That's what I meant to say. Anyway, and I love this right here. I love the little hearts. Love, love the hearts. And um, so I really I want it because this card, I entered my card um, with this, this um, layout into a team um, creative challenge. And I won it. I was surprised. So this is what I got from my upline. So I wanted to share that this particular card, I think I shared this card once before. I don't, did I even make it on our live? I don't even remember if I made this on a live or not, but it won. So I was surprised. And now for prize patrol. Dum -da -dum. So let me get my computer. So this is this. Let me bring this over here. Tonight's card. That's the that's that. And let's get the price patrol going. So I put everyone's name. Um, does that include, let's see, does that include the $39 for the kit they purchased? No, it's on my online store only. It's for merchandise in my online store. These are, when I do these things, Patty, and I think Stacy had asked last week, when I do these things, these are because I'm trying to meet um, sales goals for the end of the month. So I'm offering you something free to shop in my store, you know, for $35, you can always use, I mean, if you're like me, you can always use adhesive, dimensionals, liquid glue, linen thread. Um, I'm trying to think what else do I use? Like white cardstock, um, envelopes. These are the things that I use and they just fly out of my craft room. So when I need to make a purchase, that's generally what I purchase, um, things like that. So I have a sales goal this month and I'm not too far away from it. And this is what I do when I need to get um, some sales in my Stampin' Up! online store. So that's what that's about. Okay, so, um, and then if I don't sell them out at some point, I'll probably have an in-person class with it. But I won't be doing, um, uh, there'll be videos for this, but there won't be, uh, I mean, a written tutorial. There won't be videos. There'll be a written tutorial on that, on these. And videos too, I'm sorry. Video and written tutorial for anyone that makes that online purchase in my online store. And they get shipped to you for free. Okay, so sometimes I lose track of what I'm doing because there's a lot. Okay, so for the comments last week, I went through everything, YouTube and Facebook. I went through everything with the newest comments, the most uh, relevant, the real-time comments, and I got everybody shared. I looked for even the little, cap, uh, the shared that weren't capitalized, but I tried to grab everybody. And so here we go for that. So, oh, let me show you what you shared, shared, shared is going to get this card right here. It's an oldie but a goodie. Adele Dougherty, you're here. I think, Adele, you're here. So you just won this card for sharing my video last week. Now, this is an oldie. So here's the card that it comes with, a prize patrol. It comes in plastic. And this has little uh, Wink Stella on it. And this is the inside. So this is something I did with my assisting living ladies last week, last week. So Adele, congratulations. You are the prize patrol winner for this week for this card. Uh, let me write your name down here. Let me move this out of the way. Oh no, did I lose you again? Adele. So Adele, I don't have your address, so you will need to email me with your address, which is, here's my email, okay? And now we're going to abay at thepaperpapillion.com. Okay, let's close this and let's open the other. 
now I have to find it, 620, June 20th, Facebook Live, June 20 comments. Okay, so the next person is going to get this one. It's in, um, I don't, this isn't very burst, but I don't remember the color. Maybe it was some sort of a watermelon color. I don't recall, but that's the one that you're going to get for comments. Oh, hold on. Let me hide the whole list. And here we go. Now, if you've already won this month, you will have to withdraw. Paula Bringman. I don't know if I saw you here. Um, but congratulations, you won this card for commenting last week on my live. So congratulations. Um, oh, that's very sweet of you, um, Margo. Uh, let's put Paula Bringman. Now, Paula, I know that you got my um, June kit to go. So I'm going to, if you don't mind, include this. You'll probably get it quicker if I include this with your packet that's going out on Friday. If I can get done by Thursday, I might be able to get them to the post office on Thursday. But I'm we're looking at Friday right now, which is June 30th, which is when you'll, anybody here that got my June kit, um, you'll get an email on Friday with the PDF tutorial and you will, um, get confirmation of your shipment too. Um, so Paula Bringham, bring. So this will be included with your card kit to go, Paula. Okay, there we are. That is it. Congratulations to Adele and to Paula. And again, here's my email address, Adele. Paula, I have yours. And then these are the cards we made tonight or this one right here. Let me see if I can read any. Um, your cards tonight are amazing. You use one of my favorite papers right now. It's really one of my favorite papers. It's a big pack. It's $30, but you get four sheets. Is it four sheets of each pattern? You know, I'm not crazy about all the patterns, but, but the ones that I, that I do like, I've been using that this one for sure. And the, uh, Daisy one is another one that I used on my kit. Um, this one here is another one that I've used on my kit. So you'll just have to see next week when I share the information for the July kit, but, um, on either Monday or Tuesday, I'm not hundred percent sure when I'm coming live. Um, it's on sale too. Yes, it's on sale. So $30, 15% of 30 is what, like four fifty. Um, I don't know. My math's not great, but I think that's what it is. You say 450. So it'll be 2550, 25, 26. Yep. I think my math's pretty good. Did that off the top of my head. Um, so anyway, have a wonderful 4th of July weekend. As I said, I don't know if I'll be here Tuesday. I won't know until we get closer. So it'll be Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday next week. Okay. So have a wonderful weekend. Prize patrol winners. This will go out over the weekend. Um, except for Paula's, yours is going to go, well, yours is going to go out on Friday regardless. So they'll all go out on Friday. And then these here are going to be included with the July kit. It'll be some sort of a promotion with the July kit that I like to do at the end. I like to give prizes. So this will be part of that because I'm using that paper. Okay. And don't forget, you can get this kit if you make a $35 minimum purchase in my online store up through June 30th. You must use the host code in the description of this live or on my blog. The host code is on my blog as well. $35 minimum and you'll get these shipped for free and you get a 10 card tutorial. All right. So any questions, just email me here and have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye everybody.